send on the color. Hello, viewers. Welcome to my channel. You know, this is what we have continued to say. When you see real men who are fighting for struggle, who are fighting for the freedom of their people, you will know them. It doesn't matter how long it takes. You are going to know them. And when you see the fake people claiming to be fighting for struggle, you know them. Our brothers and sisters has continued to deceive themselves because they want money. Some of them say all sort of things. Some of them upload all sort of things lying from the other side of their mouth because they want view to make dollars. You and I know the American dollar is now high. But when you see good people fighting for freedom, like Mazen Namdekano, who has been in DSS now for so long, you will know them. He's not alone. There are many people who are behind him fighting for this struggle who are genuine also. Why there is so many of them also who claim that they are with him but they are lying from the other side of their mouth. I want to check out this reverend father. This is what a freedom fighter is supposed to be. Even as a priest, he continues to talk about the freedom of our people. In fact, he was in the midst of the chiefs and some traditional rulers preaching the message of gospel, message of redemption, message of freedom. This is what a freedom fighter should be. He is a reverend father, a priest, but he believes that freedom is for everybody. He believes that with what is going on, people must ask for their right. Asking for your right or fighting for your freedom does not mean war. Does not mean that people are asking for war. It's quite surprising that the Nigerian government has turned this thing into something else. To the extent they are collaborating with the British government to massacre innocent people in Biafra land. But no doubt, some of our so called Igbo leaders are engineering them to do so. To stop the restoration of Biafra. Because they believe that they will be overshadowed if Biafra is restored. But a man of God, a servant of God, a priest, has told all the servants of God Almighty that they should not stand aside why things like this are going on. He mentioned so many places you can even think of South Africa, America, several places that fought for their freedom. He also makes you understand, he also makes you understand that, that uh, priests and pastors were those who were in the forefront asking for the freedom of their people. He mentioned Desmond Tutu. He mentioned Junior Martin Kings. mentioned a lot of names but well, some of you are busy here in the internet ranting the reverend father is at home while he was doing this video he was at home in Biafra land preaching the gospel just like Christ preached the gospel of his father God in heaven that was how he was preaching the gospel of freedom And if you don't know, freedom is given by God Almighty. God created everybody to be free from the hands of tyrants like Buhari, from the hands of British government who has refused to allow us to drink water and keep cup. I would prefer you watch the video yourself 
and listening to the Reverend Father. I remain blessed as he watch. Cheers. In every revolution, in every struggle for freedom, the truth remains this. Ministers, priests are always in the forefront. Let's go back to South Africa. We have somebody like Bishop, Archbishop Desmond Tutu, who stood to fight alongside with Mandela. And back in America, we have Martin Luther King, who is also a priest. Back there in America, we have Reverend Jesse Jackson, who is also a priest. So I see no reason why our Vietnam priest find it very difficult to sit back at home, you know, waiting for Biafra to come. And I want to make it clear to them, Biafra will come, but it will be a shame because God has committed the, the, the nation of Biafra into the hands of ministers to bring it out. But whether they sit back at home waiting for Biafra to come, God will bring it. There is a statement, you know, uh, Mordecai told Esther. He said, maybe for this purpose, that God bring you into the palace. So, for this purpose, God choose these ministers to fight and stand against injustice. And whereby they refuse to stand against injustice, melted on their people. God will raise, God will raise stones that will fight. But it will be a shame that I have decided I will not, you know, be shamed. I will be alive. I'm alive. And why stones rise to fight for me? I better fight for my freedom. If it means my blood being split for this freedom to be, I'd rather die than to live a slave in this country called Nigeria. I can never, I can never, I can never, I want to repeat, I can never remain an Nigerian. Let me say something, please. In some of my journeys, do you know when you get to some borders? You find it difficult to say you are a Nigerian because once you say you are a Nigerian, you will be such like a criminal. Yes. Like a criminal. But to my greatest surprise, a Ghanaian will come and I'm a Ghanaian. He will just walk past. All West Africa, all. Thanks for watching.